Welcome to Paris. We are in Paris for a girl's trip and I just love this Airbnb that we're staying at so much. It's in the middle of Le Marais, which is a third district in Paris. There are so many beautiful shops and cafes around here and the home itself is beautiful, which is why I wanted to do this little tour. So you could see the little knickknacks around the house. There's vintage photographs and pieces and boxes. It's so cute. Very farmhouse rustic and chic. So let's have a look. When you enter, you immediately see this beautiful dining table where we've been having breakfast, mostly fruit and veggies. It's like peak season here in summer in Paris. I just love the shelves in the background. So you can see all the paintings and um, photographs and um, paint brushes. So it's becoming very clear that the family who lives here, the parents at least, um, maybe one of them is an artist. It's just so thoughtfully decorated where there's actually quite a lot of things on the shelves, but it doesn't feel cluttered. And, you know, I'm just feeling so inspired about how to bring this back home and play around with the shelves that we have in our house. And here's the entryway to the house. It looks out into this beautiful courtyard, which is shared with, I think, some office spaces and, and studios. And um, I love how dark the stone has turned out after a rain. And of course, the plants have gotten a nice watering. Okay, next we're going to move to the kitchen and living room area. Okay, what I love about this kitchen is that it's so small and compact, but it's totally efficient and functional. You can see here, there are these mirrors that reflect into the living room space, and it's actually really nicely partitioned with this wall, it seems like, but it opens up into these doors that, um, you know, you can open up the space entirely, and you can get access to the rest of the kitchen. As you can see, it's so cleverly thought out in, in how it's divided and how it flows. Yeah, you can also see here, I, I love the, the shelves here uh, contrasted with the stone on the wall. It's just such a typically Parisian, French kitchen, farmhouse style kitchen. And I love all the mismatched plates and cups and bowls. Honestly, I've been thinking about how to replace my dining set at home and um, I think it makes sense to have mix and match because each piece has so much character and has its own story as opposed to getting like a full set that's all uniform. It just feels a little bit silly now. Um, yeah, we've been getting a lot of use out of this kitchen, just um, preparing the fruits and vegetables that we've gotten at the uh, local market and the, the cheeses here, which are phenomenal. And here's the living room where we've been having so much quality time with the girls. And honestly, it's all centered around this couch. This couch is amazing because you can just sink into it and it's so cozy. I love how deep it is because you can really just get comfortable and it feels, it feels almost like a day bed as opposed to a couch. So I, I just love this piece for this home. You can tell they put a lot of thought into making it comfortable. It's just such a cute little space, especially um, with all the mirrors that reflect light and open it up. It, this, is, this is my favorite room in the house. Here is a cute little fireplace, which obviously we're not using. It's the middle of summer in Paris. I just think it's so cute how they've decorated the mantle with candles, mirrors, some illustrations, and. Uh, room spray, which is actually, smells amazing. Wish you could smell this. And I've definitely been on a mission to find like perfumes and sprays and fragrances around Paris. These illustrations, aren't they beautiful? And I now recognize that these were painted by the mother of the house because her name is Theodora. And uh, here it is, Thea for short. All right, let's go see the upstairs. Upstairs, you immediately see this common area. So we actually haven't spent much time here, but it's actually very used by the family. So it's in between um, the ground floor and all the bedrooms upstairs. So this house actually has four floors, which in, in Europe and much of the world, the ground floor is actually floor zero. So this floor, uh, this house technically goes up to floor three. So there's four floors in total. This is just kind of an in-between space 
There's a bathroom over here. There's the laundry, washer and dryer, and some storage. And then uh, another piano here, so this family is clearly very artistic and, and musical. And you can just, just see it's a, it's a family gathering space. There's a um, children's chair here, which I think is so sweet. Uh, there's actually a TV behind this canvas over here, um, but I love that it's blocked because the TV is clearly not a very central part of the house. And, and we don't watch TV um, on vacation anyway. So um, I, I actually love that it's just like, it, it's such an afterthought. Also something I noticed special about this room is the shiplap along the wall. So shiplap is these wooden planks that are uh, here, it's also painted over, and it's just a way to create a wall. To me, this is very farmhouse rustic and, and very chic and, and French. In Austin, we had this all over our house and we were intentional about taking it off and putting up drywall instead just to make it more modern. But here, I, I think it's just, it's so cozy and we're in Paris, in France, so I actually, I love to see it here. Here's the first bathroom, which I think is so cute. You've got these um, double sinks and mirrors here. Hi. <laughs> and um, it's, it's just so cute. You've got <laughs> the, the toilet paper in a little basket. You've got a bathtub and all these beautiful knickknacks like room spray and perfumes, paintings, illustrations. It's just so sweet. All right, let's go upstairs and see the bedrooms. Here's the landing area on the second floor and it is so much brighter out here because we've got these beautiful skylights. As you can see, it's actually raining right now. Again, such beautiful detail on the shelves with illustrations and different knickknacks. This is the room that um, my friends are staying in. So this is probably the parents' room. It's got a double bed and all these beautiful details, very, very neutral, a lot of neutral colors on white. Here we have the bathroom on this floor. So a little mirror and a um, little toilet area. And then we've got a standing shower, which has been wonderful on these hot summer days. And um, kids toys. So this, I think this is the little boy's room with a little twin bed and um, actually the windows connect to the parents' room. So that's kind of interesting. But yeah, cute books, little petite prints. Yeah, just so, so sweet. No one's actually staying in this room. So um, I'm upstairs and let's go see that. So this is the room on the very top floor. It's the little girl's room. So there's two girls in this family and they share the bed here. It's, it's so cute. They have matching pillows and linens and it's two twin beds that are put together, which is very typically European. I think adults often even do that. Like they don't, they don't sell a king size bed here in Europe. But also in this room, there's so many books and I love how much this family reads. They clearly really value art and music, literature. Honestly, the level of reading here is probably appropriate for me because my, my French is very elementary. I would say, like, beginner. So, um, it's actually really nice to be in this room. And I want to show you their little toy section too, which is really cute. So you can see here, they have a little play area on the other side of the room. And it's just like a little girl's dream. I'm really loving being in this space. The only challenge with this top floor is that it can get quite hot. I, I don't think there's much insulation on the roof, so <laughs> I don't actually spend much time here. But at night, I don't have an issue falling asleep because I don't mind it a little bit warm and I sleep in silk pajamas. So um, yeah, it's, it's totally comfortable for me for sleeping. But yeah, we're spending all of our time downstairs in these beautiful common areas and of course out in Paris walking around. And um, it's raining now, but I'm gonna go join my friends uh, who are doing a little tour at the Louvre. I, I didn't go today because I've already been several times, um, but we're gonna meet up for a little lunch and then enjoy the rest of Paris. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this house tour. Let me know if there's any particular place you love to stay in Paris. And of course, if you have recommendations to check out around the city, I would love to hear from you. I hope you have a beautiful day. I love you, je t'aime.